Hey good people, it's Ricky here for The Frugal Photographer and today I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite photography hack and this involves camera slings. So just about everybody loves a good camera sling. It makes it, you hold your camera much more securely. It's much more comfortable than carrying just a camera strap. Uh, I can secure my camera into a specific place using these little slidey clasps so I can keep it just at my side or I can keep it behind my back when I'm hiking which I really love. The only downside is that now it's slower for me to remove my camera than it was before and in particular it's frustrating because I can't keep my tripod plate on my camera which I need in order to attach my camera to my tripod. So now it's this slow frustrating process. So here is the trick. Here you see that my camera is attached to my sling. It's now removed from my sling. It is now on my tripod. Now. If you don't understand why this is amazing, I'm gonna show you how this would normally work. So if you're going to attach your camera sling the way it comes, the way most people do, what you, what you do is you have this uh, little adapter. Let me see if I can show it to you guys. And this sticks out the tripod mount adapter in the body of your camera. So you start by screwing in this you get it in there nice and firm because you don't want your camera to fall. Now you've got this little carabiner on your sling and you attach it to that, right? And then you have to fasten that down. So that's no big deal, right? But it's frustrating because now I go to remove my sling. I'm at a coffee shop or what have you. And, oh, normally isn't that difficult, but there we go. Okay, and now look at that. That's how you have to sit down your camera. It's always a little wobbly, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's not that big of a deal. It's a, it's a very small frustration. But the big frustration is that now if I want to go attach my camera to my tripod, I have to remove this sling adapter. I'll set that somewhere. Oops, I got I'm attached to my tripod here. And now I have to grab my tripod plate, put that guy on there. And now I'm in business and attached to my tripod. So I mean, if, if this seems completely fine to you, then that's fine. You don't need to watch this video, right? However, if you want to be able to do what I do and quickly move from my sling to my tripod and back again, then watch this video. And first of all, credit where credit is due. I did not come up with this idea. I read this idea um, a couple years ago from a blog by the enthusiast photographer. I'll link to his original article, but he's going to be linking you to more expensive components. I have found some cheaper components, the exact same components that I'm using. Um, they work great for me. I highly recommend them. So I will show you how this works. So where this starts with is with a tripod plate adapter. Now, if you don't own a tripod, if you're not familiar, modern day tripods, rather than having to screw your camera into the tripod, you screw the plate in, and then you can quickly just slide your camera on and off your tripod. It's far more convenient. And there's two predominant types. There's the Arca Swiss style, which is what I'm using, and then there's the Manfrotto style plate. If you have some other plate, you might be able to find uh, what you need in order to make this work, but probably not. So if you have a tripod and it's Arca or it's Manfrotto style, then buy the uh, right hardware for you. Otherwise, if you don't have a tripod, I would recommend going the Arca Swiss route because it's more common and it's cheaper. So what you need is this is called a, uh, uh, a tripod adapter. So what this is meant to do is this will screw onto a tripod um, that was not originally meant to accept an Arca Swiss plate and uh, now you can put your Arca Swiss plate on your tripod. Uh, so this mates with the uh, tripod plate, slides on, and all you're gonna do is where you would normally screw this onto a tripod, now you're gonna screw on your sling adapter. So now your sling, your sling adapter, well the carabiner is gonna go on here, and now with this tripod adapter on there, you can put your sling on, sorry, you can put your camera on your sling just like how you would normally put it on a tripod. And then you just tighten down this screw right here and you're in business. Um, so a couple caveats here real quick. Um, first, these, these slings, you can get them for super cheap. This is like a $10 sling and I've had very good experiences with it, but, and there's a ton of these different slings on Amazon. They all tend to break. And so we need to be cautious because you don't 
want your expensive camera to break, right? So firstly, I'll say if you have a super light camera, like if you have like an A6000 or, you know, some tiny mirrorless camera, I don't think I would worry about it. But if you have the kind of camera that most people have, even if you have a Canon Rebel, I think you need to attach a safety. And so this is another idea that the enthusiast photographer had. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to buy this product called an Optech Uniloop. Or you can come up with some other device if you like, but this works well. And what you do is after you attach your uh, sling to your camera, you're going to have one end of the Uniloop up here. So where they break, is right here, this piece of metal right here, that'll break and then this will separate and your camera will fall to the ground. So what you're gonna do is if you have a heavier camera like this big SLR, you just attach that and now you have redundancy, you have safety, right? And so if you don't want to have to deal with this, what you could do is you could buy the $100 Black Rapid strap, which um, does not have lots of reports of it breaking. But to be honest with you, if I had a big full frame SLR with a big, you know, like 70 to 200 lens on there, I would be much more comfortable having the same system uh, to prevent, you know, that five or $6,000 from crashing to the ground. And certainly if I had like one of the premier flagship DSLRs from Canon or Nikon, you know, the 1DX or the Canon, or I'm sorry, the Nikon D5 or what have you, I think I would definitely want that. Um, that's just too much money to trust to a tiny little piece of metal so this tripod plate is the newer, um, it's made by the company Newer, and it's quite good. I have no reason to buy a more expensive one, it costs about $15. Um, this sling costs $10, uh, the Uniloop costs about $8. Um, and if you do not already own a tripod plate, you can buy a cheap one for about 8 bucks. This one came with my ball head. Um, but one thing that you might want to do is, you, so you see how I have my Uniloop right here. If you're a serious landscape photographer and you do things like use a remote shutter release and mirror lockup, you might not want this flapping around in the wind. So what you could do is, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but this plate has a slot. And rather than attaching this to the, um, whatever that is, you could attach it here and, uh, Wait, is that actually any better? I don't know that that's any better. Yeah, it might be better. So when you go to fasten down your tripod plate adapter onto your sling adapter, I would recommend that you get some Loctite, uh, which is a glue that is meant to hold screws in. And uh, and then really go to town, tighten this thing, this thing on. Just make it so it'll never come off, right? If you want another one of these for some reason, just go get a different one. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to uh, be able to remove this, right? It's too important that your camera not fall off your sling when it's in use. So um, I used super glue on mine, which I shouldn't have done. I'm, I'm even a mechanic. I've got tons of Loctite lying around, uh, but super glue is closer and I thought it would do the job. But mine, I've, when I actually just now, when I went to grab this, it was loosened uh, maybe a half turn or so. Um, and so I think it's a good idea to Loctite and really go to town doing it tighten it down. Now there is one other option that you could do. You don't actually need this uh, tripod adapter plate. So what, what you could do is, I'm just going to move my uh, adapter that's attached to my adapter here, put them aside. And so you see how this tripod plate, it's got a D-ring on here. And this is meant so that way you can loosen it and tighten it by hand. What you could do is use that like the sling adapter. So I can just take my carabiner for my sling here and, oh, hold on. This is not a, uh, a very speedy process with my specific sling. And uh, tripod plate. There we go. All right, we're in business. Tighten that guy down. And now I am attached. Uh, I would still use the uh, Uniloop to fasten it, but uh, so this is not nearly as fast. I don't like it nearly as much. It's a little bit of a song and a dance to get off there, bugger. I believe in you. You can do it. All right, we're off. Um, so if you want to, like especially if you're on the Manfrotto system, where the Manfrotto um, tripod adapter is like 40 bucks, whereas on the Arca Swiss system, you can get one for less than 15. Um, maybe do that, but I, I really am a huge fan 
of being able to quickly slide it on and off with the tripod adapter plate. So that would be my recommendation, but I am not your dad. Do what you want. Um, and that's how it works. Thanks for watching.